Hey guys, Rush here. Uh, welcome to the first episode of Redstone Daily. This is the series where I give out uh, Redstone Daily tutorials, hopefully daily, on just simple things. They're going to be short and simple, and of course, um, everyone from the RDF is going to come and uh, spam me, or just like annoy me. But this is my RAM tutorial. It's very going to be fast and simple. Today we're going to be uh, talking about slurred flip-flops. I think that's what it's called. And basically what it is, is um, it is just a simple form of RAM right here. And how this works is you flip the lever and you have to update the block for the piston to be able to toggle out. And uh, this lever will now not do anything until we turn this off and we update the block again. Okay, we can use this to our advantage to make some type of things. This is a little bit of a bug, so um, I don't know, no guarantees on if this will stay around any long. But here is our input. I have another example right here. We can actually use buttons to update uh, the piston because but because redstone will update any block uh, around him in a T formation. So it update the block right here 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 and of course above it okay so you can put the redstone under the piston to update it and in this case right here I have redstone right here to update the block right here and right here so we flip the lever which is our input and then we click save which will save this data this will refresh okay and um, when we want to undo this we have to flip the lever again and we have to click updates refresh again and it will refresh this piston another example right here input reset and save right here what I have here is another design you would just bring the redstone to the side right here and basically what this means is this will be an automatic reset so what that basically means is we t flip the lever we click save and it will save the data that we input okay but when we unflip the lever it will automatically reset and that will that is because of this strand of redstone right here on the side if this was not here then this would not be able to work okay you have to have this strand of redstone on the side so if I were to undo this like this it will undo again another example this one is basically the regular uh, input update refresh except with a T flip-flop added onto it because it also does work with buttons this is our input right here and as you can see uh, is this is our slurred flip-flop over here or whatever it's called I'm just gonna call it basic RAM and uh, this is our update and it will update this block right here to causing this piston to toggle out when we undo this by click clicking the button again it will undo these pistons this is no longer active right here and when we click update it will cause the piston to, to, to toggle in again this is uh, our update uh, inputs reset here um, as you can see we have our strand of redstone on the side again here so we click input this is our input right here you can see that this is now active but to actually save the data that we input we click our save button this will update our piston and it will uh, toggle out and when we click the button again it will automatically reset because again we have the strand of redstone again which will of course automatically reset it when we undo this lever right here okay I choose the wrong one but if we update this then yeah so this is a basic form of RAM uh, that can be used for many different things again flip the lever and we must update the piston to be able to for it to toggle out when we want this to toggle back in we can update the block next to it to get it to toggle in you can use redstone to babe to update our piston like that and you uh, again undo this lever and update the piston again and that is um, the first episode of my uh, redstone daily tutorials thanks for watching be sure to check out my other videos and to subscribe I'll see you guys later